Hello friends and welcome to this week's edition of Saturday Morning Crafting where I have joined forces with Melissa of Mo Creations and Gloria of Girlia's Cards under the hashtag Two Crafters One Design. Each week we assemble after deciding on a focal feature we create with that item and we bring forth our projects to you all on Saturday morning. Now, we also upload to Jill Norwood's hashtag SatMoreMakes, in which Jill encourages us all to carve out some time throughout the week to craft and to come back and share our makes. This week for Two Crafters, One Design, our focal feature is on uh, balls. And to help me accomplish my mission of utilizing my supplies, I have pulled out this die set called fortune mm -mm. this is not a die set this is the stamp set but i do have the cord name die but this is called fortune teller tabby and it's by lawn fawn and i also pulled out the uh, die set now if tabby had have done her job correctly i would have known that there was going to be so many interruptions today when i was recording this video and um yeah, she could have saved me a lot of time. I had to redo this so many times. So hopefully her predictions are correct and I'll be able to finish this out properly. Now, I have not committed to a full on project, although I have cut out the pieces for a card. I have some curtains that I cut out. I cut out a curtain rod, a rug some flooring and the card base. I haven't committed to what I'm going to work on. And I think that's okay when you're um, doing some crafting. This is going to be ready um, when I'm ready to actually work on it. But my crystal ball shows that our future is going to be really bright. That's each one of our <laughs> futures is gonna be really bright. So we need to bring that to fruition and whatever we could do to brighten our days up. We need to make that happen. Anyway, I colored this out um, with some of my alcohol markers. I did some ink blending and some um, stickles on the inside of the stars. I put some stickles around the really bright. And there is our tabby cat there. Now, this is where I'm hung up on just a little bit. So I watched some videos on how this was used and I have the reveal wheel by Lawn Font. It seemed like a lot of work. And then I have the Chibitronics also, and that seemed like a lot of work too. And it's not that I'm not up for a lot of work, but I colored this in. It took me a while to do so and I don't want it messed up. So just in case I'm not brave enough to dare <laughs> either one of those two projects, then at least you see the cat colored up and my card that's in thought. I'll come back at a later time and assemble this and I'll share with you all the completed form. Now, next week, our focal feature is going to be on bows. So if you have any bows in your stash, please pull out the things that you have to create them. Um, upload to the hashtag two crafters, one design. While you're at it, upload to Satmore Makes. Please go and populate both hashtags into your search engine and find a plethora of talented, crafty artisans out there. Okay, my friends, I'll catch you next week. And I hope that you are blessed and well. And I predict your week is going to be really bright. Bye, friends.